for more than six decades, 007 has had to consistently update his looks, his gadgets, and his swagger. His women have changed just as often, but his behavior took a bit longer to evolve. Uh, man talk. Now for a 25th film, James Bond will continue to develop thanks to these badass ladies keeping him in line and up with the times. This never happened to the other fella. So on this IMD brief presented by Progressive, let's look at the evolution of the women who love the spy and hear from four who co-star with Daniel Craig in Bond 25. Stay where you are. I can assure you my intentions are strictly honorable. I can assure you, they aren't. When Ursula Andress first graced the screen in 1962's Dr. No, she set standards for Bond woman beauty that are still in place today, even if she wasn't given much to work with in the character department, and not even able to use her own voice. In fact, Nikki Vanderzil provided the uncredited vocals for six of Bond's early loves from Sylvia Trench. Oh, I hope I did the right thing. You did the right thing. All the way through Moonraker's Corrine Dufour in 1979. You presume a great deal, Mr. Bond. Every actor who played Bond gave the role his own spin, trading martinis for whiskeys or classic dapper looks for leisure suits. But the women who played his loves were mostly written to a surface level template that was put in place by the producers of the early films. Their formula created a triangle of one dimensional women. One is an ally, one is an enemy, and the main one survives for a climactic boat ride into the sunset. Paul, what do you think you're doing? Keeping the British hand up, sir. 1969's Honor Majesty's Secret Service revolutionized the Bond franchise when they swapped Sean Connery for newcomer George Lazenby. But the more crucial change was that this Bond falls in love, gets married, and almost leaves the spy life behind. We have all the time in the world. Bond has loved and lost repeatedly, but Diana Rigg as Tracy, the daughter of a crime boss with loose ties to Spectre, is the first to challenge his swinging lifestyle of a bachelor and prove who really has the bigger pair of Thunderballs. Obey your husband in all things. You promise me? But huh? of course I will, as I always obeyed you. Unfortunately, Tracy didn't even make it to the end of that film, and her backbone didn't carry over into future iterations or fit into that formula. Until Daniel Craig's soft reboot of the franchise that introduced Leah Seydoux as Dr. Madeline Swan in 2015's Spectre. You shouldn't stare. Why well, you shouldn't look like that. 007 will always be a cad, but Dr. Swan is not just a damsel in distress, which is in part why her character was irresistible. A new kind of Bond girl, maybe more um, complex and another vision of, of women. I was surprised when I was cast. I was very happy, but a bit surprised. Yeah, something has changed. And I like the fact that I'm not a sexual object. Dr. Swan will be only the second love interest to survive from one film to the next. But her similarities to Diana Riggs' Tracy, including a father with connections to Spectre, make us believe that the odds are not in her favor for this next adventure. It's gonna be very emotional. A number of actresses have appeared in different interchangeable roles throughout the 1960s, 70s, and 80s, like Maude Adams, who is both love interest Andrea Anders in 1974's The Man with the Golden Gun, and later the title role of 1983's Octopussy. Oh, James. We're two of a kind. But Eunice Gason's Sylvia Trench is the only one to love 007 twice in the same role, and it is all the way back in the first two films. Well, I've just been reviewing an old case. Oh, so I'm an old case now, am I? Shh, it's the office. Suffering through 14 films as secretary Miss Moneypenny, Lois Maxwell was pawed at by 007 for over 20 years. Her replacements became increasingly slapsticky butts of jokes until Oscar-nominated Naomi Harris was cast in 2012 Skyfall. Not sure I can survive your best. Doubt you'll get the chance. Harris is the first money penny to escape her secretary's desk, and for her next outing, she'll continue to challenge and change 007. I like, you know, the fact that in Skyfall, when she's introduced, she goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Bond, and she's out in the field, and she's trying to prove that she's just as good as he is, and I mean, I think that's one of the ways that it shows that the Bond franchise is constantly evolving and, you know, adapting to the times and reflecting the changes that are going on in society and, you know, the evolution of women. There's romantic tension between Bond and Money Penny throughout the series, and some fans still believe that they could take that sunset boat ride together. Except that in Bond 25, two others will vie for 007's heart, 
or his head. They're both new to the series, so their roles are kept under wraps, but Ana de Armas seems perfect to carry on the tradition of the enemy, the double-crossing femme fatale. It is shocking for actresses when you you get that phone call, You want, we want you in the Bond movie, because it, they felt, for me, so unapproachable. They were so perfect and fierce and fearless and always like badass and all that, and I think we got to the point of more layers and being more real. They feel like more real women. Like I could relate to what I was reading on the screen. Still badass, but yeah. I'm a real woman. <laughs> While Lashana Lynch, who broke big and heroic in 2019's Captain Marvel, could play an ally that 007 can trust. These are movies that have represented British culture for so long, and they have a winning formula that they're, they're able to just keep completely fresh and represent Britain as it should be. And now we get to really roll with the the tide of change with, with women, and hopefully that's where I come in. And this bond put a woman in the writer's room for the first time since From Russia With Love. Daniel Craig requested Fleabag and Killing Eve creator Phoebe Waller-Bridge to punch up the Bond 25 script with her trademark dark humor. It's the circle of life. Bond's 25th mission begins April 2020. This IMD brief is presented by Progressive, which critics are calling an easy way to save on auto, motorcycle, home, boat, and more. Check out Progressive.com for how you can save, and stay tuned to IMDb.com slash IMDbrief for more shaken, not stirred trending stories.